You know, as I was saying last day, some people discarded what came before and some people evolved from that. You know, at different point of time, different perspectives, different way of representing maybe a similar subject, maybe a different subject. But you know, human conditions, human experiences we look at, social conditions, human conditions, what we look at, we observe and we figure out a way to express ourselves. Now it can be a paint brush for you, a canvas, a paint brush. It can be you can have clay or something else so that you can sculpt. It can be, uh, you know, you can design, you can do some creativity from visual art, graphics and all that stuff. And similarly, acting is something where you can express too. Your emotions, emotions having color and the, those nuances, you know, those shades, black and white, shades of gray, you know. So when we have all those things, uh, what I suggest people is, it's okay that we are focusing on our physical features, you know. Some people are focusing on physical features only you know the way you build your muscles your biceps triceps you know and all that stuff um, that's okay we need it then you focus on your physical movement gestures you know rhythm uh, you can learn so much from the dance uh, and other art forms you know how you are moving your body how you are stretching yourself how you are expressing yourself through you know physical gestures and movements you can learn that but i always suggest people you know you can learn so much from art history you know i say at different point of time different perspectives different way of representing but you know you can learn so much from that you can learn so much from that whenever you think that you require inspiration i think you can go to um, a painting you can go to an artwork and for many people they cannot relate to uh, those artworks and they think how acting can be shaped by those artworks but you never know you know uh, and you should cultivate this more because you will figure out at some point of time when you are totally into you know artistic creativity artistic exploration you are immersed into all these things you will understand that you can learn from each and every art form so what happens is you might look at a painting you know you might be inspired by a painting you might uh, look at the way the artist conveyed something or represented something, you know, the use of different elements. Uh, you might look at that and that can be inspiration from writing. That can be an inspiration for acting. So, uh, we are never, you know, missing out those inspirations. We have a lot of artworks in this world. We have a lot of artists, uh, traditional, modern, you know, contemporary. Uh, we have a lot of people who are doing great works. We have a lot of great works that we already have for a long time, you know, uh, 17th century, 18th century, 19th century, 20th, 21st century. You will see that the evolution of things, you know, the movements, artistry, if you look at it. So you can learn so much from all these things. And uh, you can learn from the social, uh, social situation, the way they were depicted by different artists and uh, you know choosing of a particular form you know and, and substance form content context you will look at all these things and you will learn so much you know sometimes you want to be a great actor you just pick up your camera and you shoot you just take pictures you observe people you look at people you take pictures and you learn so much and taking picture composition the way you look at your subjects different types of photography the different types of you know art or artistic representations you want to look at your subject one can be if you for example if you are only do modeling photography you know you can look at your model in a different way so different photographers have looked at models in a different way and you can see in some of the photographs the human soul is very evident you can see the human soul and um, in some you can see the glamorized part a bit more stylized experiences you can see all those things you know so you can choose and you can learn to uh, experiment with all these things and one thing you can learn about the complexity of the composition that is also problem solving 
and the way you are designing the composition and then you know you are looking at the elements the visual elements of the composition and then how you are doing post production if you are doing and how you are creating art out of it you know uh, it is like abstraction or you are going for contrast or you are going for shapes how you are playing with the forms you know how you are um, um, you are playing with different elements of a you know uh, a, a visual art form you understand what i'm saying the more you do that i mean you can contribute to uh, the cinematography of a particular film or a stage production you know the way you are staging and blocking the way you are uh, shooting it the way you are composing it so in different ways you can contribute so from different art forms you can learn so much and if you considered acting you will understand that psychology sociology anthropology you can learn from all these things you know philosophy philosophy can help you a great deal you know when you if you want to introspect in a deep way uh, you know because of your current situation or a particular situation or you something you are going through um, as a human being you can go through a lot philosophy can help you as an actor as a professional as an actor it can help you a lot and why i say that cinema is a great profession you know acting is a great profession art is a great profession it is more than a profession to me or uh, for many it is more than just a profession because sometimes you do it not just for money you know you do it because you love it you have a lot to share you have a lot to contribute then money is obviously coming you know but um, this is something you love to do you know when when you love to do something there is one element many people don't get it i don't know why when you really love to do something you want to get better at it you know and there is a lot of learning experience you can learn continuously continuously you can learn from a lot of things you can improvise you can experiment you can go for an adventure you can take creative risks in your life and you know you can have great discussions with other artists you can have great discussions with other professionals and you know um, uh, as i have mentioned it before you can contribute in so many ways for your performances for others performances if you want to share s something to the younger generation you know you can teach them you can talk about it you can share your experience you know what happens is when something is already not there uh, people will criticize you for it that is not there what are you thinking is wrong maybe that is not the right thing to do there will be a lot of criticisms you know when something is not there yet you will find hypocrites who will say this is not there this is not there how can we talk about it this is one way of doing it this is two uh, th there are two ways of doing it these are few ways of doing it they don't know what they are talking about many in uh, uh, like uh, many times because they have not gone through the uh, theoretical studies or a deep introspection of the uh, you know art form or that particular practice or that particular discipline they haven't gone through that deep uh, introspection sometimes there is a culture who is telling you not to go through a deep, uh, deep introspection you know and um, but what happens is maybe uh, you are going for a particular kind of entertainment where you where you don't need it but if somebody is willing to study it for more you know they are going to go for a deeper exploration they are going to go for you know deeper study they want to learn the discipline a bit more maybe they are sticking to a particular entertainment but or uh, they may be uh, wanting to do uh, uh, like a like a broad range of entertainment if i say so you know you can learn always from art history you can learn from acting theories you can learn a lot from psychology sociology you know anthropology so you can learn so much you know so what happens is when something is already not there uh, many people will criticize you this is not there that cannot be there this is not possible and when something is there they will even criticize you more sometimes and they will always criticize you there are like people um, they will always criticize you no matter whatever you do but what happens is if somebody is willing to learn more if somebody is willing to go for deeper experiences you know um, at least for the sake of learning 
at least for the sake of experimenting maybe somebody is doing a lot of research regarding that somebody is doing a lot of research regarding acting uh, you know uh, the physical processes of acting the facial expression you know how you capture those things in camera how you uh, choose a particular shot you know to depict something to convey something somebody may go for that research what we can do is we can create an environment which is an open learning environment where people can share questions they can share their suggestions they can share their experience so maybe we have done this particular thing for a long time maybe we want to do this thing for a long time but once in a while if you are in this profession you will understand that i also want to learn that thing i want to go for that thing i want to go for that exploration i want to go for that adventure i want to take that creative risk you know so if you want to do that there are a plethora of opportunities there are a plethora of like inspirations artworks you can go through there are theories and once you go into all these things in a deeper way you will understand maybe one day you will contribute to a theory or maybe you can guide someone who can contribute to a theory right so but ultimately it will come to entertainment if you are sticking to entertainment so we have academia we have the professional aspects or the business aspects we have you know um, the theoretical more research oriented aspects but you know what happens is the reason we created ho color on or other things uh, especially ho color on is the reason where everything can come together you know academic people academia uh, you know research oriented people theoretical research people are you know uh, very curious about learning that discipline going through that discipline people who are introspecting a lot people who want to share their experiences people who want to talk about the commercial aspects they want to create an opportunity so that it can be a profitable venture they want to create an opportunity which can be a very profitable venture a great storytelling opportunity a great performance opportunity a great theoretical or maybe a stage production uh, a great uh, performance a great artwork a great modern art form where you are uh, applying a lot of different art forms we can contribute to that you know but many people from different backgrounds can come together and we can have a good discussion we can have a uh, like uh, uh, a creative discussion innovative discussion we can encourage a lot of things to happen we can uh, go for thought leadership we can go for you know um, we can create a space for discussion we can uh, invite people we can uh, talk about a lot of things you know that can inspire people to do a lot of other things so uh, and one thing i always say you can always learn whatever your age is at whatever position uh, you are at uh, at whatever age you are at at whatever uh, stage in your life you are at at whatever uh, condition you are at you know uh, whatever be the scenario you can always learn from people from life from uh, society you know from different things things i mean you will have a lot of inspirations and you will always learn you can learn and you know learning is one thing the reason we talk about all these things when you learn you understand you find a way to channelize now it can be you can go for research it can be you can go for writing a script it can be you can go for creating a production it can be you can contribute to the producing side it can it can be like you can contribute to the business side you understand the theoretical aspects you understand the aesthetics you understand the artistic aspects and you understand the commerce as well so what you can do is you can create an opportunity where you can market it in a better way you can take it to people you know you can uh, make it a profitable venture and if you want to stick to a particular kind of entertainment for that also maybe bits and pieces you can take from those things as well and you can always give people a better experience you can always give people a better you know entertainment a better experience you know and we can contribute in so many ways so uh, if you want to do that um, we have created something and you can make use of it and then you know you keep talking about it you keep sharing it with people whatever we are talking about you share with people you ask the pertinent questions you know you uh, do your research then you can write back to us what you found uh, and you know we can do so much
and we can learn all the time you know and we can contribute we can create uh, in new ways innovative ways and creative ways you know so uh, it's not that boring you know it's not that boring you can do so much